Hey everybody and welcome back to the next Flappy Ears tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and create our rainbow. It's going to uh, move across the screen like so. So let's get to working. Uh, drag it into the scene and then let's go ahead and create a script. And we're going to call this pipe. Uh, attach the pipe to the rainbow. And then double click it. So the purpose of this script is going to be to drag it, drag our rainbow across the scene. Uh, to do this, let's go ahead and create a after three, call it drag, and then we're also going to need a public float drag amount, and we'll set that to one. And what we're going to do is we're going to say that drag equals our transforms position to get our current position and then what we're going to do is subtract from the x our drag amount times time dot delta time and then we're going to put it back into the transformers position to update it okay and if we do that let's move this guy over a little bit click play and now he moves alright so the next thing you need to do is delete this when it's no longer on the screen um, so to do that we're going to go ahead and also do another part which is creating a game object set this to zero add a sprite render and a box collider to this So the purpose of this is going to be to determine whether or not we have made a point by going through the uh, pipe without hitting it. Four. And then to trigger the sprite renderer here is going to be so that we can access the balance of this object. So go to graphics and then just drag in the rainbow. Um, Go to color and then just set this to zero alpha so that you don't see it. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go back to our rainbow script and let's go ahead and create a game object, a public game object called hole. And we're going to drag this game object into there. But first, let's rename this as well and call it a hole. So drag that into there, and then go back to your script. So we did the same thing with the player when we did this function here to determine if it was on the screen. So we're going to use the same function to determine if it's off the screen. And the only difference right now is just going to be the not symbol at the beginning, which means not this function and pretty much what that's doing is saying if it's not on the screen uh, then we're going to do something and what that is going to be is to destroy this game object okay save that and then go back and hit play and it destroyed let's move this over a little bit more So now it slides across the screen and then destroys when it leaves. We can give ourselves a little bit more leeway if we want on when it destroys and when it doesn't by adjusting the scale of our sprite. The only thing that we have to take in consideration here is the scale of our box collider because it should not be too big. So let's go adjust that and then uh, point eight, five. Point 0.5 and then it should delete great